traveling from another galaxy in pursuit of the mystery machine. A place where time stands still. Jinkies! Between strange sightings. Wow, Fred, get a shot of that! And weird encounters. <laughs> a cosmic mix not only of sight and sound, but food. Mm, sounds great! The next stop, it's the newest Scooby-Doo movie, Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. <laughs> Scooby-Doo and Shaggy stranded in the desert. A collection of strange encounters. Yep, that's creepy, all right. Help! <laughs> no logic. I don't see anything. No reason. Them aliens are here to take over the world. No explanation. It's trouble. And strangest of all, love. Well, like Shaggy gets a love interest. <laughs> yeah, a love interest. A Scooby Dooby Doo and me too. <laughs> Is this the first time that Scooby Doo and the gang has met up with aliens? Yes, as far as I know. Um, and it's really kind of an interesting uh, situation because Scooby and Shaggy actually fall in love. And who they fall in love with is a secret. <laughs> Car breaks down in the desert. They have sort of a, a UFO experience. A light passes over them. <gasps> like, what do you think, Scoob? Well, I don't know. It looks like an alien. <laughs> Cooperate, and you will not be harmed. They made some research scientists, and I'm not going to give away what happened, but people are not who they say they are. What? Are you guys serious? I play the character Crystal in the new Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. She is a hippie. She is a special kind of gal. Um, she speaks with a lot of light and groovy man. Oh, like, what are you guys doing out here? Which just, Shaggy just seems to find absolutely irresistible. Like, hi. He's found his soulmate. Well, like, she's a gorgeous, good-looking chick. And her name is Crystal. The schoolboy buddy, I don't know about you, but I think I just found my dream girl. Amber is my dog, who much like, um, Scooby is a very special canine. I think they're seriously in L-O-V-E. These long-distance relationships, it's a little difficult. Unanswered questions, alien abductions, talented voices spring to life at the hand of skilled animators. This script is the characters. You know, we all become the characters. Like, what are you talking about, Scott? Well, you read the script, and you, so you know what's going on. And if you've done your character long enough, you, you pretty much know how the character reacts. <gasps> and who was that girl? Heather North was the original voice of Daphne, and she created this wonderful character. And what I'm trying to do is to make it live, you know, now for the 90s. The director is very helpful in telling you, oh, here you're yelling because a train is between you and Scooby, and you have to be heard, or you're right next to each other, or or you're scared because a UFO just landed on your head. This is take uh, from 807, take 35, and... <gasps> I think I know. Velma solves all the crimes in just a very few pages. She actually is the one who says, hey, I noticed there was mud on the bottom of those shoes, or there's no river at the bottom of that gorge, or she's always got all the answers. She's always the detective. Well, the gang does help solve the mystery, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's our job. Another extraordinary phenomenon. One day, it was the craziest thing. I was uh, sitting at my house, and I got a call from Scooby. <laughs> really weird. A coincidence that defies explanation. Jennifer Love Hewitt, who prefers to be called simply Love. And he called me up, and he's like, hey, Love, how you doing? I was like, oh, I'm good. What's up, you know? And he's like, well, I'm not busy right now. And so I wanted to ask you if you would sing um, the song. And I was very excited. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? We've got some work to do now. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? We need some help from you. You are in 
and the Scooby-Doo mansion, an apparent time warp moving toward infinity. It's wonderful um, to bring the 60s back this way. It's very fun. Like, warms us up. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> it's true. Wherever there's a mystery uh, to be solved and food involved. Are those glazed? <laughs> You're always going to see the mystery gang, Scooby and Shaggy, uh, ready to take on the day. You're ready and you're willing. If we can count on you, 